Greetings and salutations. Grace unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Wesley Webb, pastor of the Grace Baptist Church in Greater Downtown Metropolitan, Mackby, South Carolina, and welcome to the Higher Grounds Podcast and today's Morning Minute Meditation. So I'm interested in this question today. Are you spoiled? When we talk about somebody being spoiled, it can be a good thing, but usually it's a bad thing. For instance, if a husband is so good to his wife that people say, oh, he just spoils her. Well, that's a good thing, right? Vice versa, a wife is so good to her husband, everybody knows that she just spoils him. I mean, that's a good thing. One example of when it's a bad thing would be a child that is spoiled rotten. You have saw it play out before, I'm sure. Parents really good to the child, but the child is just a, a spoiled brat. No appreciation, no gratitude, no obedience, no sense of respect uh, for the parents or anybody else for that matter, and it's all about them. Just, just a spoiled little brat. Again, I'm sure we've all saw both instances play out. Well, that being said, I'm interested today in Colossians chapter 2, verse number 8, where the Bible says, Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men and the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. Paul's giving an admonition for believers to beware of being spoiled. And clearly, he does not mean the good kind of spoiling either. So, just kind of the way I thought about it, working through that verse real quickly, uh, there's the challenge. Beware. Or could we not say, not doing damage to the scriptures or trying to change it or make it say something it doesn't say, but could we not say be aware? We can beware if we will be aware. It's sort of like spiritual situational awareness. Just try to be aware of what's happening in your life even in your life that surrounds you that may not be spiritual because it may be spiritual. Does that make sense? The challenge, the culprits. He talks about man, lest any man uh, spoil you. This is the part that makes being aware of being spoiled more difficult. Uh, it's man that does it. Matter of fact, as the verse said, any man uh, interaction with others, it, it's such a natural part of our life that it's often hard to detect when any man is spoiling us. Thirdly, there's the course, and I use that for the outline to talk about methods. Through philosophy and vain deceit, philosophy. Um, I looked it up in Strong's Concordance, and I may not pronounce this word right, but it means philosophy, of course. Um, Sophistry. Um, sophistry looks like sophistry, like it would be sophisticated. But I, I looked up sophistry, deceptive reasoning or argumentation. So man spoiling us through philosophy, through deceptive reasoning, deceptive argumentation, sophistry, through vain, that is empty, deceit. Vain deceit. It, it, why are we even talking about this? Why are we even arguing about this? This means nothing. It, it amounts to nothing. Why are we even having this discussion? Those kind of things. They're meant to spoil us. After, the Bible said, the tradition and after the rudiments of man. After the tradition, the precepts, the ordinances of men. This is the way man thinks that it ought to be done. We should do it this way. What does the Bible have to say about it? Well, it doesn't matter. This is the way it's always been done. This is the way it ought to be done. The traditions of men spoil us. And the rudiments of the world. Rudiments. It's a word that means arrangement or proposition or principles. If we are being influenced after the arrangement of the world, after the propositions of the world, by the principles of the world, rest assured, we're being spoiled. Now, then to finalize this little thought, the clarification. 
spoiled through philosophy, vain to see after the traditions of men, rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. Even if we do not recognize we are being spoiled through these various methods and the course of men, we can still beware. We can still be aware that we are being spoiled if we recognize that what's happening in and around us does not promote Christ or Christ's likeness in our lives. So what's the lesson for us to learn here? Paul's mention, or rather intention, Paul's intention was to draw our attention to the possibility or even the likelihood that we as Christians could be spoiled and not in a good way. And to be aware, to beware of it. So the question we need to ask ourselves is, am I spoiled? Are you spoiled? That's all for today's Morning Minute Meditation. Y'all have a great day and remember, it is what it is.